hey, I finally have the nursery in a presentable uh, state and I wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, I'm filming this about a week before my due date, so uh, baby has not come yet, which is why it still looks good and hasn't really been lived in or used much. Um, let's take a look. So we enter, there's a light switch that connects to the ceiling fan, uh, which is not on for the noise. And then this lovely green color was left over from my in-laws guest room. They let us have this and it works really well. The goal of sort of the design was I wanted it to be gender neutral so that I wouldn't have to redecorate if we have a boy next. Um, and we got these really adorable decals. I'm a huge fan of hedgehogs. They're not legal to own in California, and so I can just sort of look from afar and love them. So we went with like a, um, a woodland creature theme, which is really, you know, available and popular right now. So there's little decals over here on the dresser. And down here next to the rocking chair. I think you've seen some glimpses of this rocking chair in a couple of the videos that I've done from in here. Um, but yeah, it's got the ottoman and this locks in place. This reclines as well as locks and, you know, rocks and it's a glider. And it's pretty comfortable and it was a gift for my parents and I'm very glad it's here. Because this is going to be a great place to nurse. There's the fun, more woodland creatures on the bobby pillow. Got a few of these shelves. These were like $13 each at Target, so, you know, pretty cheap and uh, affordable and it's a nice way to display just a few of the books that we got from our shower. The rest of the books, there are so many of them, I tucked them down underneath the crib, I don't know if you can see. So that's a temporary fix until we find more shelf space because there are a lot of books, which is great. Uh, this dresser was here when we moved in, it was sort of a gift from our realtor. But I've got um, newborn clothes in here. I think this one is, oh, this one's burp claws. This one's swaddle blankets. Uh, these two are blankets, like crocheted knit blankets from people. A couple other blankets that are good for tummy time, I think. This is uh, three to six month clothes, like the next phase step up. But these are not washed yet. I only washed the newborn stuff. And then just a couple little things being stored in these drawers, hats and bows, uh, bibs and, oh, the most adorable, I have to see, these Uggs, baby Uggs are too cute, aren't they? Uh, some more shoes and socks and things, more socks. Um, I still need to get batteries for this, but this is a little portable night light that I thought uh, would look really cute with the sort of <laughs> wood theme. Um, so it's going to look like a jar of fireflies once it turns on, but I don't have the batteries for it yet. And then the box has pacifiers and my nose Frida that I got, and well, that'll be fun. And then baby monitor is plugged in down here. Um, we got curtains because... This is a south-facing window, so it would get really hot and really bright in here if we didn't have that. Um, this crib is a gift from my husband's parents. It was really great. Um, it's like adjustable, so you know it can go down and then you can get the conversion kit to turn it into like a toddler bed all the way up to a twin size. Um, the changing table section here is a little bit too big for this changing pad, but I made it work. <laughs> Um, stuck another decal on the drawer there. So this drawer, or these drawers have all of our diaper stuff. So we're doing cloth, like I said. We've got newborn prefolds, covers. Some of these are pretty cute. Little foxes. This one's a little toki doki print. Because, yeah. All the wipes that... I can't remember if that was last week's video or next week's video. <laughs> but uh, I sewed all of these. This is a spray bottle for the wipe solution, and then the snappies are in here. And then some more stuff. This has more prefolds, a couple like disposable samples, and then like butt paste and a couple of like, lotions and things. Um, oh, these are liners, disposable liners. And then this is uh, one size diapers that I haven't washed yet for when she grows into those. 
Got a couple of these from a consignment shop and then these were good. And then here's the diaper pail. Pop it open like that. But what I love is that it locks. So when she starts getting mischievous, she won't be able to open it. Um, and this, again, I don't remember if it was last week's video or next week's video. Uh, I decided not to sew my own diaper uh, liner wet bags because it was just as cheap to get one from Amazon. And it's got, a, I don't know if you can kind of see, it's got an owl print. That's the inside. It's cute on the outside. Extra things on these shelves down here. Um, white bags, wet bags, uh, sheets, and uh, changing pad covers. And then here's a close up of more of these decals. Too much fun. Really cute to put these up here. And so easy. I think these came from an Etsy shop, but they were also a gift from my mother in law. So I wouldn't know where, but they're repositionable. So I've moved a couple of them around a little bit. This is the closet with just like storage. These are like, I have all the clothes organized. These are the clothes we got as gifts, all organized by size. Um, this was a Father's Day gift for my husband. <laughs> that that was cute. And then uh, we've got some disposable diapers, tub, other stuff that's in here, extra crib sheets. Uh, stuff that, man, this bag is like all of feeding stuff, which I don't know where it belongs yet. Like maybe in the kitchen, maybe somewhere else, but for now it's in this bag. And I'm considering all of this pretty much done. Um, like I said, it's about a week out, and it's nice to have this uh, whole room set up and ready to go. She won't be sleeping in here at first. Uh, as you see, there's no... We haven't even unwrapped the crib mattress yet, because we may be getting an unused crib mattress from a cousin, in which case we might return this one, but, you know, in the meantime, <laughs> we've got... Uh, this is the, um, the baby box that I did the unboxing of, and it's currently just full of stuffed animals. Um, that's one thing that I might try to do, or have my husband do, is find the pet net we have sitting somewhere in the garage and hang those up, maybe in the corner up here. Um, but other than that, yep, we're pretty much done. And it's very nice to just sort of feel like at least I have a corner of the house that is uh, like ready, that's pretty, and that I can like retreat here. My hope is that this will be like a, uh, I need to get away from visitors and just nurse the baby with, I don't know, maybe no shirt on, like, and not feel like I need to be presentable because this room is presentable and I can keep it clean. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, that's my nursery tour. I know it's not like super fancy. Um, we went pretty low key with the decor. The decals made that really easy. Um, and thanks so much to everybody who, you know, gifted us all of the stuff that we needed for our showers and the furniture um, and for our friend who came and painted these walls because I didn't want to deal with the fumes. Um, yeah. So, I know by the time you see this video, she'll already be like a couple months old almost, so we'll see. I'll probably have this room popping up in the background of some of the videos you know, that you've seen in the last couple of months. So maybe this is all, maybe this is um, a comedic view of what things looked like before it went totally crazy and messy, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for listening to my rambles. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.